For this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to work with the wall tool. This tool has some unique features, including the ability to cut into and retain topography features. So, let's get started. Click on the building tab, then click on the wall tool to activate it. Click within the grid to add points to your wall. When you finish drawing the wall, you can hit enter to make an open shape, or click on the starting point of the wall to close the shape. You can also get some additional right-click options that will help you with these. Next, double-click on the wall to enter shape editing mode. From here you can configure your points to be hard corners if needed, as well as specify a unique height property for each point. To set the height of a point, click and drag on the upper node to raise or lower it. Once the wall is in the scene, it's time to add materials and configure the wall properties. In the Properties panel, click on the Wall tab for your wall object to start. From here, you can set and size the material of your wall, change the physical measurements for width and height, and toggle some shape properties. Next, click on the Cap tab. From here, you can add and configure the material and physical properties of the wall cap. Note that there are a few options for cap shape in the drop-down menu, so you may want to experiment a bit with materials and shapes until you find something that you want. If your wall is intersecting a topography feature in the scene, you may want to have it cut into the piece of terrain to retain it. While the wall is intersecting a piece of terrain, click on the Retaining tab in the Properties panel then click on Cut Terrace to activate the retaining function. From here, you can control the direction and width of the cut, and even have the wall trace the shape of the terrain itself. Now that you're familiar with the basic features of the wall tool, here's some ideas for ways that you can incorporate it into your scene. With some tweaks to the size configuration, Walls can actually pull double duty as a secondary pillar or column tool. You can build end cap columns for your walls, make custom pillars for a deck, or even make railing posts if you want to get really creative with it. Walls also work together with patios if you need to make custom hardscape shapes. A combination of a patio and a wall lining its edge can make for a great custom fire pit or even a planter. We hope that this tutorial has been useful in getting you up to speed with the wall tool. For more information on using this tool, check out our help documentation, or download some of our template designs if you'd like some live examples to study.